Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial. Today we are going to learn about the Razor Pay integration gateway with PHP. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, this is our project structure. So I'm going to create the project with our HTML. So let's create a directory that name is browser pay browser pay php okay let's create this and let's open into our code base open a terminal let's open the code for this let's create the structure step by step so index.php okay let's create the file index after this config.ph for the keys okay next we have a create order.php okay so let's create that now we have verify payment.php let's create that file also after that success.php Okay, for handling the success payment or the cancel payments, payment failure or the success, let's add this cancel. Okay, file structure is ready. Let's add this composer file. So let's go to that and let's go with composer require. Okay, it's done. Let's go to the config.php file and let's add this. So this is our config file. Let's paste this code. Config. Let's add the credentials. So I think I have the credentials somewhere in our previous project. Let's go with our Razor Pay. We have these credentials, right? So this is our key ID. I'm going to use it over here. Key ID. Let's go with our Razor Pay key secret. So let's add this, save this. Okay. Move to the next step that we have the index.php. This page allows users to initiate the Razor Pay. Okay. So config should be required. And this is our index.php file. So let's copy this and paste this index. Okay. Let's save this. Okay. Moving to the next step that we have to go with our another file that is create order.php. This script will create an order using the Razor Pay API. So here we have the create order file. Let's add this to our code like this. And currently amount to capture that is payment capture. That is we have to make, make it automatically. Okay. So here we have the convert 500 rupees that we have to pay around amount okay we have to require the config file okay next we have to go with the verification of the payment after successful payment rather we pay will send a message that must be verified okay so let's go with the verification of the payment so here we have the verify payment.php okay so here we have the verification code for the right using the rather pay order id payment ID and the signature and with the API utility you have to verify the payment signature this is the method of that one and pass the attributes and return the status accordingly okay now we have to go with the another file that is success.php file for handling the success part and the last so here we have the payment success.php okay success.php and the last one that is payment failure page that is cancel.php okay let's cancel.php here we go let's run the project go live index this will download okay so i think there would be another thing that i can do that is localhost if it is run with this or not let's see otherwise we can la launch this project like this fail to listen already in use so it will not work okay so we are going to 
run this localhost. So let's run the localhost. So we have the PHP. No, we have the another one that is Razor Pay <coughs> PHP. <coughs> okay, Pay now. So it says error undefined. Control minus minus inspect console. <coughs> Let's check the network. When I go with the <coughs> pay now. So here you can see that the create order request amount 500 response is not there. It says empty. That means create order is creating some issue. Let's check that one. So what's the issue in that? <coughs> create order so here we have let me give me some time just one minute actually it's just calling the empty object so I have fixed it out so first of all let's do the payment first so I'm not going to do with the mobile oh, let's add the mobile number any the mobile number that we can add let's go with the UPI and that's the number Okay, so just verify the payment like this. And it's confirming the payment. Payment done. And it will give you the redirection to the respective pages. Okay, success. Payment successfully done. Thank you for the payment. Right. And if I go to the Razor Pay, so here you have the transactions. Here you can see that the last transactions we have. Okay, so here you can see that the last transaction that we have captured with the phone pay. So it will come over here. Like here you can see that the this is our phone pay payment method that is a UPI. Okay, and this is our mobile number and everything will come over here. Okay, so this is how you are able to do that Raza pay payment. Let's go back and understand the code base or what we have done so far. Okay, so this is you know that is config.php file. Is it very simple? create order file that is for <coughs> if the invalid JSON input just throw that error and otherwise you have to just send the amount to that and create an order object for the amount currency and the payment capture and convert the object to the array before encoding okay so this is the issue in the previous call so we have fixed that part okay after this let's go to our index.php file this is the most important file here you can see that let first of all let's create the html with the button so this is the button after this button now we're going to get the button id on the click of it we are going to create the api that is create order.php and send it after this after this response if the data.id comes now this is the razor pay key id now we have to send the amount in everything, description and the name. After that, we are going to call the verify verifyPayment.php file. And here we will verify that the payment success or the failure according to it, we are going to redirect to the respective pages. Okay, that's done. And the, if something went wrong, it will go with the error. Right. Now we have a success.php file that is simple. And this is verify payment. Right. So very easy. Okay. And I think everything is okay now. So I think that's it for now. Any doubt, any query, do let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great day.